This one's going to be a little bit more advanced. Um, I have a viewer named Gail that asked me if she, um, if I could help her clean up this font. Um, it is called Nightly Poem. It's not a free font, so I had her send me a sample of it, and this is what I got. Um, when you look at it, it's definitely pretty. It doesn't really look like it's a big mess up front, but I'll show you why trying to cut this would really not be fun. Um, I'm going to zoom in really far. If you hold the control button and you use your scroll mouse on your uh, scroll wheel on your mouse, and you scroll in really far, if we keep centering it here. I'm going to look at the word is just because it's a really good example of it. So now you can see there's some issues. First of all, there's all these little holes. And also, if you go to Node Editor and click on these letters, there are a lot of nodes. And every time you see one of these little squares and you're trying to cut this with your Cricut, your Cricut is going to touch down there. So this is going to bog your thing down and it's probably going to chew up your vinyl a bit. So the idea is to clean this up. And Gail, telling you up front, I'm going to show you how to do this, but you are probably, for the most part, going to want to use a different font, maybe something similar. Um, but in the meantime, I will show you how to do it. First thing I would do, just because, you see when you do that, when you hover over and you see the nodes and you see this little line showing up in here, it's because these letters are not welded together. Your Cricut is going to cut right in here. You don't want that either. So hold shift at both letters and do control plus plus and that welds them together. So now the easiest thing you can do to at least get a head start on it is have Inkscape simplify it for you a little bit. So I would do that first. Go to path, simplify, and that will do its best to clean it up. If you find that it oversimplifies it you can always just undo it and do it yourself but that at least helps. So you can see there's a lot less nodes. Now there's still a lot. Some of your shapes are a little wonky here, but we're going to have to fix that anyway in cleaning all this up. So I'm fine with what it did with simplifying it. So now if we come back in here and see this section here, there's a lot of nodes like all over here. They're okay. There's one every so often. They're not bad. This little section we need to fix. So if you come in here, just take these nodes, throw a box around them, and delete them. Take a couple here. I'm going to leave this one. Take those out. So now you have a lot less nodes. Looks 100% better, right? If you're not happy with the shape because we are affecting the curves, you can just reshape them a little bit where you want. If you click anywhere, we see the little hand. If you click there, you can drag your curves around to make them shape the way you want them shaped. But see, when I did that, I made these little humps here. I'm actually going to undo that. Um, so that kind of cleans that part of it up. Then you have, scrolling a little further, all those little dots. These are really easy. You just drag a box around the nodes, delete. Whoops, sorry about that. Drag a box around that one and delete it. Whoops, get rid of that one. Now all those ones inside that are totally like little islands, those are gone. We still have this and this, which this one, honestly, just delete those nodes. Same thing here. Delete. And then... When you see these, these little rays that stick out off your nodes, that's controlling the curve for that section, the, the curve coming off of that node. So I don't, obviously don't want it to look like that. I'm going to, I drag these back into the actual point and let them go. And then I can kind of remake the curves myself. See right now you have this little hump in. So we have to do some kind of curve here. We got to kind of fix that somewhat. doesn't need a lot, but you just kind of have to play around with dragging your mouse in and out of it. Same thing over here. We have to fix that curve a little bit. It got a little weird on us. So you'll have to go through and just touch up anywhere you see. Now, like, it's more exaggerated because I'm zoomed in like 8 million percent. When you when you zoom out, you're not going to see that little weirdness in the shape. But anywhere that you do and you want to clean it up, you just have to go in. And you can either move this node out a little bit, or you can just sort of fix the shape of the curve. Whatever you need to do to make the shape look like you wanted it to look. 
So that's how you would clean up the majority of it. And as you can see, it's going to take a long time to do this much text when it took me that long to do one letter. But again, your prerogative. This is definitely a lot of work, but if it's a font that you really, really love and this is what you want to do, go for it. I have definitely done it before for things that, that I really need to be a certain font. Now this, this was where there were like all those little brush strokes that you didn't want. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. We're going to zoom into this really far. See this one, we don't need that. It's just sort of sticking out. Same thing with this. This, we don't need all of that. Get rid of it. You can recurve that. This, get rid of it. And now let's see that again with these little lines. Just drag them back where they go and make the curve yourself. See? Get rid of those little islands in there. Um, this is not really going to be of any use to you. We're going to want to make our own little tail at the end there. So we're just going to get rid of all that. And now this, get rid of all this. And now we're kind of just going to drag out our own. Fix that curve. Maybe fix this. Bring that out a little bit. Fix that curve. If you have to add a new node, if you go on the edge of any of your black here and double click, it makes a new node. So now you can kind of make a curve off of that. If that makes sense. See here, I might want this to be a little bit more of a point. So if I put a node there, I can drag out my curves the way I want and get it nice and pointy or rounded or whatever I want. So that's gonna that's how you're gonna have to do that. It's still obviously kind of out of shape. It definitely takes some time and patience. Sorry, there's my dog wrestling behind me. But. So that's how you would fix those brush strokes, how you would clean up your nodes, and how you would get rid of all those little pieces in the middle. So now you went from having this, where you have a, just so many cut points that you probably couldn't even get this to open in design space, to this. We're still not really, really simple, but it's doable. Design Space could handle it, I think. All right, so hopefully that helps you, Gail. And uh, thanks for watching. Any other questions, feel free to message me and uh, have a great day.